really beautiful outside right now. I'll show you. Do you hear that like white noise in the back? Penny bought these air purifiers. I'm so obsessed with them, so I'm like, whatever. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so tired. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. One of the most common questions I get is how my breast reduction affected my ability to breastfeed. Unfortunately, I do think it made my production lower than it would have been, but there's not really any way for me to be sure that it's because of that. I called my doctor, shout out Dr. Applebaum, but I called him when I found out I was pregnant. I'm like, yo, between you and me, I'm pregnant. Do you, you think also be able to breastfeed? Do you think it's gonna affect it? Like, what's the tea? Because when I had got the breast reduction, I was like, I don't know. You know when you're not planning to get pregnant? You don't even think that you're gonna be pregnant one day. It's like weird. It's just too far in the future and you're like, yeah, it's so far away. Like, I'll figure it out when I get there vibes. And he said, it shouldn't really affect it at all. He's like, said something about we didn't cut that area i don't even know what he said i don't know what the reasoning was i don't know i'm not i don't produce like in that much like i see videos on on tiktok and there's these moms with like bags and bags and bags in the fridge like stored and i i don't make that much so i do a combination between pumping breastfeeding and formula is this boring like, is this boring? Like if you don't have a kid yet and you're like, and that's not anywhere in your wheelhouse yet, is our conversations like this boring? Cause I try to put myself in your shoes and I'm like, okay, if I didn't have kids and it wasn't anywhere in my future, would I care about somebody switching their baby's formula? But then I'm like, maybe, yeah. Cause like, I've always been curious, like what it's actually like. I don't know, you tell me, like, oh. I don't know. So anyways, we switched this one really yesterday. I did this one from Whole Foods. Cause it's not sustainable to keep ordering this European one that takes forever to get here and then you run low and you're like screwed for two weeks. So we ordered, we got this one from Whole Foods. I don't know. I hope it's good. I am exhausted today, but I'm not. It's like a weird, okay. I know the last video was like, we need to leave Miami, da da da, and we are, but I think we're gonna stick it out through the holidays and not do it then because it's the holidays and like that's a weird time to move first and then second like i think we're just gonna stick it out a little bit longer even with the construction the, the noise got better like they moved to a different part but now they're hitting it from the <laughs> i was about to say now they're gonna hit it from the back but they are like now they're like moving their cranes and shit to the back of the apartment like to the nursery so that's gonna be next so we do have to go at some point but we're gonna see how long we can just deal with it i'm gonna do a quick online thrifting haul i got a ton of tea shout out to thread up and afterpay for sponsoring this video you know how much i love thread up. online thrifting hits so uniquely i recently got the perfect diaper slash mom bag. I really needed one of those. And I always find pieces like this that I wouldn't be able to go run to the mall and find. I also recently got this Vivian Westwood and I just keep finding gems. Ooh, I oh, this rocks. So ThreadUp is the largest online thrifting website. I enjoy thrifting for the comfort of my own home, not having to go anywhere. And always finding, oh, I am obsessed with this for the fall. I also got this Harley Davidson top. I figured I could style this like a million different ways. Dress it up, dress it down. This, it's like, seems like it's a lot, but I have a vision for her. I don't know, I actually really want to show you because I have such a plan for this actually. I have the perfect pair of boots and I'm going to crop this. And it's going to be my holiday look. I'm going to do it with like a leather skirt and these boots. This is going to be my Christmas look this year. I have these ostrich leather boots it's so much easier to thrift when you can use keywords when you can use materials when you can actually like search what you're looking for and save yourself 10 hours 
hopping around different stores. And after pay makes checkout so easy, you can split your purchase into four payments. I also did a round of online shopping for you. I basically went on there and favorited a ton of my favorite things from the website right now. So don't forget to check the link in my description. And thank you to ThreadUp and Afterpay for sponsoring this video. So postpartum hair loss is a thing. And it's so funny because during my pregnancy, my hair started growing like so much and everybody talks about it. It's like, oh, wait till pregnancy. You basically get a brand new set of extensions. Like your hair grows so much. This is all my hair, like this is not extensions, but it's all a scam and it's all a lie. Postpartum hair loss is right around the corner. And when I brush my hair, sometimes I'll see like clumps fall out into the brush. But I noticed a bald spot. <laughs> I literally noticed a bald spot like right here. Is it actually getting better? Whoa, slay. I mean, I don't know. Do you see a bald spot? You can be honest with me. Do, do you think this is a bald spot? Right here. I mean, I noticed. So I started taking a bamboo brush and this oil that I, well, first I got some random hair growth oil from Target. And then I posted about my bald spot and I got so many DMs from so many moms. They all recommended me this one. They're like, girl, this is the one. This is the one. Like so many people sending this exact one. I'll include a link to this because the before and after pictures that these girls sent me in the DMs were nuts. Apparently this is the cheese, so I'll go in, put it, and I'll bamboo brush it. And I've also been taking the Nutrafol and postpartum in general, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling more collected. It's so hard. Like if you know anybody that is having a baby, just like be just extra nice to them and all they want to hear is that they're doing a great job so like that's literally it you're doing a great job even if you think they're not you're doing a great job that is it that's the script copy paste because postpartum is probably like the hardest era of my life for so many reasons you just feel like a nutcase like you don't feel like yourself everything is overwhelming you're tired. Postpartum is the biggest hormonal change at one time that anybody can go through in life. Like there's no other hormonal change that can top that extravaganza. Like it's deep. But I really am coming out on the other side of it now. Like I feel way better than I was before. I was putting up with shit that I shouldn't have been putting up with, to be honest. And then you get to a certain point where you snap and you're like, you know what, if I don't put myself first right now, nobody's gonna put me first. It is my responsibility to be the person that puts me first. So I made a couple changes. I stopped putting up with some shit. Okay. And things have been turning up. <laughs> I mean, I'm only commenting on it because it's a question that I get a lot. And the tea is, like, I know. I'm very self-aware. Like, I know I had a good case. I don't even know. You know what I mean? But, like, I didn't get any stretch marks. And, like, this is not, like, that different, I guess, than what it was. But it's a mental thing. Like, I don't know. It's a mental thing. It's not that I look bad objectively. But it is weird. I don't know, it's just like weird getting used to your body like changing and feeling comfortable like in your skin again. Cause you go from like being out to here pregnant nine months like crazy and then the next day like your stomach is gone like after you give birth but it's like still there. And now it's like, I don't know, like there's like, I don't know, the whole body image thing is weird. Cause your body like feels different after and it's not even like, oh, like I don't feel like snatched. Just like shapes are a little bit different. Like it's not, it's not like the same, but it like reminds you of what it was, but it's like not quite there. It's like weird, like some pants will fit me, some won't. It's like a weird thing. And oh my God, speaking of body yesterday, this is girl talk. Yesterday or the day before, I had my first, I started my first period back 
And it's so weird because you go a year without having a period and it's almost like you forget that you can have one. At least that's what happened to me. I am used to the most daintiest, cutest little periods. Like whenever I get them, I'm like, what was that? Like tiny, like nothing, like not a thing. When I tell you, I don't even want to tell you. I don't want to tell you because that it is, I don't want to tell you. It was something I had never seen before. I was like, am I okay? Like I'm like Googling everything. I'm like, am I okay? I did this wood therapy. <laughs> I did this wood therapy massage on my stomach. And I got this one comment, this girl's like, are you sure you should be doing that so close to, to giving birth? Like your uterus is healing. And I was thinking about that comment. And I'm like, oh my God, like I destroyed my insides and I'm just like gushing now. But I, no, like apparently the first period is just super intense or can be after you have a baby because there's like leftover drama in there and your body takes it as the opportunity to just get rid of everything and it's been jarring um but whatever uh, anytime i go to i mean anytime mentally i want to complain about something i always try to flip it to a gratitude mindset and i'm like i am so grateful that i have a body that works and i'm so grateful that i have a period because that means everything's doing what it's got to do and i can make another baby when i want to i have been actually super consistent with my 12 through 30 that those first couple weeks didn't do anything obviously you feel like your insides are broken and you're sweating every night profusely like it's just so bad the sweating is gone thank god that shit was so nasty like that alone almost sent me like that shit, waking up soaking wet in sweat. That was something and I'm finally like not doing that anymore. But working out and being consistent with that has felt fabulous for my mental. I've only been doing 12 through 30. I don't think I'm ready to go in there and like do weights yet or like do anything strenuous I mean, you're they, i'm pretty sure like they told me like i'm not really even supposed to it's dangerous for your pelvic floor or something like i'm not gonna go and like squat with a weight like that would be crazy right now i just don't care to right now the 12 3 30 is just like good i feel positive i feel proud of myself after and it's just like a cute little did it done i'm gonna do that today my goal is to slowly but surely start entering back the regular civilization and like go places. I mean, I don't feel pressured. He's like a month and some change old. He's not even two months old, but like at some point I'm gonna have to start bringing him places and like taking him out in the real world and like doing that. It's healthy for everybody involved. I don't wanna have a kid that's like he can only stay indoors. He only stays at home. Like that is whack and it's probably not good for him, but I'm not putting a crazy amount of pressure on myself in terms of timeline for that. But I am trying to at least for myself get out there a little bit. The good thing is there's family here. So at least there's family functions that we could take him to and like get him out of the house like that. And that's really nice. I want a moisturizer right now. Where's my moisturizer? But I haven't taken him to a restaurant yet. I haven't really taken him anywhere. I've taken him to the grocery store and like that's it. But I don't, personally, I don't go anywhere. First of all, I like being home and I am gonna have to get more comfortable with being okay that he cries. Like, and I get really actually supportive comments like babies cry, it's okay. And I'm not the type to even get mad when other be people's babies cry either like when a baby's crying i'm not like ugh stupid baby like why did they bring you out but i don't know why that's how it feels like whenever he's crying like at the store or wherever i'm just like oh my god everybody in here is like bad which is like not the case i mean airplanes i will say that oh my god a crying baby on a flight what the f like i've had those thoughts like y'all couldn't have just stayed home <laughs> y'all couldn't have just not flown with this baby no but then you like have a kid and you get it you're like well what the f else am i supposed to do honey but, like where am i gonna take this child that's another thing like i'd rather just stay home where am i gonna take an infant baby 
also like I guess restaurants. Restaurants is a good place to start so that I could start living a normal life and like he just tag along. I guess maybe like a Target run would be healthy. I really miss suburbia. I will say that. Living in a big city, it's not the tea. Like it is for like hot girl vibes, I guess, when you're like single or not with child or like i don't know but like for a family it's not giving i'm so pale right now jesus lord that's what i need i need a good self tan moment he's sleeping so peacefully right now i almost don't even want to move him but every morning i've been bringing him to the bed Rare Beauty sent the most thoughtful PR package. They literally made my whole day with this, but they sent me these new balances and they sent me tiniest little pair. For real? Are you kidding? The note says, Lauren, congrats on your little one. Here's a little something for you and your new 12, 330 bestie. Rare Beauty, you made my day with that. Anyways, this has me very excited to start doing little matching outfits with him. And I don't want to be too corny with it, like literally copy paste to buy him the same clothes as for me. Like that's a little weird, but I do want to do like color vibes with him. I just think that's so cute. Like I can't wait till we're getting dressed in the morning and I'm like, okay, today we're doing neutrals and I like kind of match us. And I'm really, really excited to do that vibe with a boy. Cause I feel like it's just a different level of cool like i'm imagining the vibe but i'm thinking like matching baggy pants for both of us and like matchy sneakers and like matching just like cool like more boy vibes like that is just the coolest there's something so cool the feeling about being a boy mom i don't know what it is but the vibes are different so shout out rare beauty i'm gonna go do my 12 now. So I've been putting it off all morning. Honestly, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go do it. And it's like, girl, then go do it. I went online shopping for you. I went on there and favorited a bunch of my favorite things right now. I found so many gems for holiday parties, for gifting. So check that out. The link to that is in my description. And thank you to ThreadUp and Afterpay for sponsoring this video. You can split your purchase into four payments. And Afterpay makes checkout so easy. So don't forget to check the link in my description.